Yeah, our first story <laughs> is going to be a PSA about JHE MCU, and we've brought you a couple of those in the past. Um, mm-hmm. Unfortunately, we do have another one, and this one is um, it's being brought to you because not only do we have testing by Recursion Labs, who's a YouTuber, we've I think we've looked at a prop test by him before in the past, but he's done some uh, testing on some the of his JHE boards, M- and then he's got some logs from other people's boards. Uh, mm-hmm. There's basically a gyro <laughs> issue. Um, he's not sure if it's the gyro, if it's the design, like exactly what the problem is, but basically. Um, these new JHE uh, MCUs that are shipping with the four, the 420 AIO with the ICM gyros. Um, mm-hmm. They're unfortunately having a huge issue with gyro noise. Um, he even yeah. tried rotating the board to fix them and stuff, but didn't have a lot of success. Um, you know, this would be kind of anecdotal, but uh, unfortunately, they released this knowing this because uh, the second link that we have is to jhemcu.com. Um, and they actually have a guide which doesn't solve all the problems, but they literally say to turn up your filters as a yeah. baseline for this board. Right. Um, so any, and if that's any, not a red flag, yeah. I can't imagine what it is. Any gyro chip that can't run on 1.0, 1.0. Look at the gyro filter multiplier. I'm not sure if it's too small for people to see. 0.55. That is a, that is a broken level of filtering. It's just yeah. broken. And, and reports are that that like makes it better, but it still has twitches, still has problems. No, you know, it just like makes yeah. it better. You know, yeah. The the data yeah. that I was shown, uh, I, and this was in an email thread. I assume that's the same guy who reached out to you. Uh, but the data that yeah. I was shown showed a noise peak down around twenty hertz. Yeah, and if that's it's accurate, obviously... there's no way you can filter that. It's impossible. It's yeah. too low. Yeah, it seems like there's an issue in the design. Um, it, it, the, those gyros are in testing by other companies. I know, um, I think uh, Mamba, there's a Mamba board out with that and a couple others that people have done testing on to see how they work. So we'll have more reports on that at some point in the future. But this one definitely seems like a concern considering they released this board knowing there's a filtering issue. I, t- I just think that's like, it's a super yeah. big issue. So if you have this board, I would definitely contact your vendor um, and try to get it, re- re- you know, um, well, I would get returned or something because that design seems like there's an issue with the design. Every board that I've seen tested so far has had this problem and they so admit there's a problem this, baseline in the tunic, right? Are we saying um, that, are you saying that yeah. the ICM 42688P gyro is basically don't buy anything that has it? No. No, we no. don't know anything about that gyro. We just know the design they used in this board does not seem to be good. I haven't seen verified testing good or bad from other places. I know the beta flight developers have been working with other board manufacturers to test this gyro, and I believe initial tests have been going okay, but I okay. believe it's going to be like one of these things where it'll be design dependent, and if JGMC doesn't talk to anybody like they never do, um, they may just not make the right design on the board until they ask So there's somebody. something else going on maybe in the in the 3.3 volt that, power that supply rail, the, case. the capacitors yeah. and so forth. This is another case okay. of, hey, we've got a new gyro, very untested, just being added to beta flight, like all that kind of stuff. So, you know, I think we're right. going to be seeing those kinks being worked out like we've seen with some of these other gyros. So for the time being, it is only the JHEMCU, GHF420 yes. AIO. That thing yes. is do not touch it. Yes, because okay. so far everyone I've seen tested has had the issue and, may, and JHEMCU admits there is an issue. Okay. Okay, yeah. uh, we're we're, we're going to see more and more of this as time goes on because uh, manufacturers are having to try reach further and further afield to get components that are never mind inexpensive that are available at all. So uh, hopefully that this can be made to work. And I don't know. I was going to say I don't know how hard we should be on JHEMCU because hey, this kind of thing. But why the f would you release it into the wild and sell it to well, customers and not test it? Well, the problem is they did test it and they saw it needed more filtering and they provided more filtering in the thing. So like, it's like an acknowledgement of, we know we're still doing it. That's, mm-hmm. that's the way I look at it. Cause if they yeah. provided it with nothing and it was bad, then we could go, maybe they didn't know. We know they knew. <laughs> they just decided to present it to us like this. Right. Yeah, so they were hoping the it would be, is, they would get away with it. The other problem is, and this is my understanding, and I'm going to like say this on the news. Maybe somebody knows somebody who can talk to somebody, but my understanding is JHEMC is not in contact with any developers from anywhere. Mm-hmm. They're not in contact actively with Express LS developers, not in contact with Betaflight developers. If you or someone you know knows how to get in contact with somebody from JHEMCU so they can actually get information about their board designs and properly fix things and get on the Betaflight list that they're developing for good hardware and things like that, like everybody's happy to work with them. So I mean, it's you know, not like it's hard that. to get in contact with the Betaflight developers and so well, forth. If the they wanted is- to, they probably could seems like there's very little um even english translational speak coming from that coming oh, from them at all you think there's so a language I don't know if they barrier. don't have any representative and it's just a hard language barrier what's going on but um, it right. is unfortunate 
So, yeah. Okay. Next up, we have a uh, PSA about the iFlight Commando 8, but specifically only the CC2500 version, not the Express LRS versions. Let's uh, put this up on screen. So this is an email from iFlight Support. The CC2500 yes. has a frequency deviation problem uh, that causes it to not basically not be able to bind or to have short range with the R81 receiver. Uh, yeah, and, and basically, it's, it's such an issue that they've been um, refunding customers. We got an email from a customer that I saw from iFlight, um, and it seems like they are refunding customers or providing replacements um, and just asking people, you know, either buy another radio or buy an Express Flores version because we don't have a way to fix this right now. Um, which is unfortunate, but at least it looks like they're making good on this to people. So if you have this issue, if you have one of these, I would definitely, um, and you have a problem with it or you have low, you know, low link quality, basically, it sounds like it's now, out of spec and you need to contact. But, uh, is this only an issue with the R81 receiver? Does this work correctly with no, like, it seems like it works receivers? correctly with the R81, but not with others because oh. the R81 has an offset and it was designed to the offset. That's my oh. understanding. Now, typically, the multi-protocol, uh, yeah, they'll have a frequency fine-tune that you can do. Think well, that does that not my work? My understanding is it's so far off, you can't get an initial bind, so you're, like, fighting to get a frequency tune. Like, that, you know what I mean? Like, basically, it's it's sort of, like, not worth fighting with because it might be so far off. Um, but basically, again, they're admitting there's a problem with it. So if I had this radio um, and I had any concern at all with that, I would definitely contact them for some kind all, of replacement. Or All the more or, reason to move to yeah. Express LRS because those receivers don't yeah. ever have frequency issues. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Maybe more uh, on that next week. Okay. Maybe more next week.